Hi, this is Dr. Michael Ryan with Missouri Bank here answering a common question I get. And there's different things that can happen, but um, most commonly a blood clot develops in the calf muscle area. Uh, that's, it can also occur in other locations like the thigh. But when people have a DVT or blood clot, that blood clot can either stay put and just become a, a hardened area of, uh, inside the vein in the, in the deeper tissues, or it can um, also extend, which means the, the clot grows inside the vein, traveling up the leg. Uh, or most, most worrisome, it can break off and travel up to the lungs. And that can cause a, what's called a PE or pulmonary embolism, a blood clot in the lungs, which can cause death. That can be a very serious condition, which is why when doctors are concerned about a blood clot, they always check an ultrasound in your leg and they want to make sure that they're not, not missing that diagnosis. The um, long term, if someone has a, um, a blood clot in their leg, they need to get on blood thinners. That's generally how they're treated. And in some cases, the blood clots will dissolve away completely and you go back to the way you were before the blood clot. And that's the best uh, outcome. But many times the blood clot, um, when it dissolves, it has d damaged and destroyed the little valves, the very frail, tiny valves inside the vein. So those valves don't work, and you get what's called vein reflux, which is a condition where the blood flows backwards down into your leg under a very high pressure, causing a lot of discomfort and swelling. Uh, that is called uh, post-thrombotic syndrome. That's the medical word for after the blood clot goes away and the vein isn't working normally. And that can be very difficult to treat, a lot of discomfort, a lot of swelling, and also people can get skin breakdown, which is a, a skin sore or um, what we call venous ulcer in the ankle. In general, people do very well after getting a blood clot. The blood clot resolves and people are able to resume activities. The most important thing is to get an ultrasound to make sure you don't have a blood clot. If you have any breathing symptoms, you want to get a scan of your lungs. This is all, of course, done at the hospital. And uh, if you have a blood clot, you'll likely be on blood thinners for at least a couple months. So this is Dr. Michael Ryan with Missouri Bank here.